Hello, I'm James Milan, and I'm here today with Town Manager Adam Chapdelaine and Steve Byrne from our Board of Selectmen, who have just finished a meeting with the Parking Implementation and Governance Committee, and we're here to talk about the changes coming to Mass Ave and Arlington Center uh, related to the metered parking. What are the problem or problems that we're trying to solve in introducing metered parking into Arlington Center? I, I think there's quite a few, I don't want to call them problems, but I think um, some areas we can become a bit more efficient. You know, I think that um, as it currently stands, um, where you have to pay to park in our lots, but you know, you can park on our streets for free, it, it's, it's really flipped. And uh, it, it's just, um, doesn't create um, the turnover that we want on our on-street parking. And it really, I think, makes it so we're not utilizing um, our more off-street lots. And we're hoping that these changes will um, be a step in the right direction to, to fixing that. The only additional piece would be, we don't really have a long-term parking solution for employees or someone who wants to stay the day uh, in Arlington Center or work the day in Arlington Center. So by uh, shifting the lots to uh, unlimited time as opposed to the current three-hour limit, we'd pr uh, be providing long-term parking opportunities as well. How will you measure success? A year out, two years out, five years out? How, how will you know this has been a successful transition? Uh, the whole basis for doing this is to make parking available in Arlington Center so the businesses can thrive and residents and even non-residents can come in and, and, and patronize those businesses. So once we, um, once we hit on what that percentage is, maybe it's 10% availability, 15% availability, uh, availability, whatever it is, we're going to measure that uh, through the work of this committee, maybe the work of TAC, um, uh, some, some combination of those things. Uh, that's going to be the primary one. And if we're not achieving that availability, then we might make some recommendations to change pricing or to change our strategy. And um, I, I think we can expect revenue to be generated from this. And I, I, you know, being that it's going to become a benefit, a parking benefits district, you know, we're going to try to invest wisely back into the center to make it even, you know, a more um, commuter, business, pedestrian-friendly place, and um, really try to um, get it to thrive even more so than it already is. Change is hard. We all know that, and this is going to be a change. Uh, it'll be a change for businesses, it'll be a change for residents and for people out of town coming in again to patronize the businesses. Uh, but I think we've done our homework and our goal is to increase availability of parking so that the business center can thrive and also to be able to reinvest revenues into the center. So I think we have uh, very appropriate and very fact-based reasoning behind this and um, I'm going to ask for patience and cooperation as we roll out these changes. We'll appreciate your feedback. Um, please, if something's um, working in your opinion, let us know. If something's not working, please let us know. And that's what um, I think this committee's here for, is to address that feedback and um, get to the right resolution. So for Arlington Public News, for Adam Chapdelaine and for Stephen Byrne, I'm James Milan, and thanks for joining us.